What is going on guys? I'm Suburban Angling and I'm back out here doing something a little bit different for you guys today. Judging by the title, you already know what's going on. We're at a local fishing expo, fishing convention, whatever you want to call it. We're out here, we're going to record some booths, talk to a few companies, get to know a few people. It's going to be a good time. Come inside with me. Let's get it. All right guys, so our goal today, like I said, is to record a few booths, talk to a few people that are willing to be on camera. We're not going to be here too long, about an hour or two, so we're just going to head in and show you guys you know what these things are all about and maybe inspire you to go to some of your local you know fishing conventions before the winter is over because you know they got these things during the summer and you know there's, there's always an expo going around but a lot of the time you know especially up here in the midwest they're doing this stuff during the winter during the you know off season for spring and summer so to speak oh i guess this guy's gonna back out but yeah so let's go in there and see what they got yeah so we're out here in the show they got all kinds of stuff as you can see first booth we see when we walk in ice fishing jigs crappie jigs all types of little jig heads hair jigs if you like walleye fishing they got all kinds of stuff here keep in mind that we're located here in the midwest so a lot of the stuff you see is going to be oriented towards northern fishing northern illinois bass fishing anyway or just you know custom mom and pop stuff look at these things look at all these Crank bait, you know, they're kind of like crank glides, like weight bait style, probably shallow divers, all different colors from, you know, the crappie to bluegill, they got summer gill, going down to baby bass, just going down to, you know, the unique stuff, all the way down to shad colors, very unique stuff. That's the business card for that booth right there, guys, for all those custom hand painted baits. Facebook. Look, look at these glow in the dark jigs. Sick jigs. These things are cool for real. Look at that. Neon, green. These things are neat. It's cool. It's oh, they're lure wraps. Loki, I do. I Loki need some of those. I'm not even gonna care. What's a lure wrap? It's all you. The hooks don't like. It like protects them. Hey there. What's going on? Yeah, this is a good little deal right here. Mm hmm And I was just telling her I need some of these. Well, there you go. Came to the right place. These are like a little bit larger for some bigger jerk baits. So like a little crank bait and stuff. Here. Yeah, you could fit these in there. Most of these. Yeah. Bass lures. Mm -hmm. Shed, right? You know, wraps. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna get some. Here. Yeah, oh, thank, thank you. you. Go ahead. Stuff, no, stuff oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Building open for you. Stuff it in there. Thank you so much. And then you can put his in. Perfect. So I'll just, yeah. here. So I got fifteen dollars in cash. So what I'll do is I'll get one of these, and then I'll get these four. Yeah, you can put them in the back. Yeah, you can put them in here. Man. Cool. Appreciate it. Yeah. You know the way it's looking, it's good to came today instead of tomorrow. I'm gonna be out. Yeah. No, today's the day for sure. Yep. Today's the day. All right. So here you go. Thank you. Yeah, Thank good you. luck. Enjoy the rest of the show. Mm -hmm. How you guys doing? What's up, dude? How you been? How you been? This is my girlfriend, Zoe. Hi, nice Hi. Hi. JP. Zoe. Zoe. I brought my uh, Sony camera with me, so you, I'm going to record some of these jigs and stuff right, right here. Cool. Do whatever. All right, so this is the show special for tightrope jigs. Anybody who watches my channel knows what a tightrope jig is. I love these things. Different color selections, different sizes. Hand tied, metal weave guard. These things are really neat. So these are the 1 4s right here? Yep. Yeah. And then this right here, these are the 1 16. One of my favorite things about these jigs is how they keep a relatively you know, similar profile the higher up in weight you go. Now this is a 1 4th. This is a 1 16. So this is you know, four times smaller. And it has a similar profile. You know, I mean, obviously the skirt on this is a little bit wider, a little bit, you know, more of a firework, hence the name of the jig. But at the same time, though, I mean, you're going to be able to throw this in 30 foot of water and still going to maintain that small, finesse jig profile that you're looking for. So, yeah. These things are awesome. You know, this is the, one of your guys' newer colors. You just dropped two other top this color. It's campus. Yeah. Yeah, these things are sick. But if your cat's pee is that color, take them to the vet. <laughs> you guys got some of the spinner baits out too, finally. Yeah, this this black one is mean. Little logo on the eyeball. 
the attention to detail in the jig or on the spinner bait, excuse me. It's on the blade too? Yeah, I don't know, it is on the blade too. And then if you look at the little blade, it actually says 312. Yeah, got that rep in the Chicago area code. Very nice. Right this is a brand new color you said? Yeah, so this is our brand new color. It's called the honeybee. Mm -hmm. Ours are a little different because they have the weed guard right here. Everything that you have here at the Yonke Jig booth is there's no wire, there's no band. Everything is threaded to keep the skirt from staying nice. You can get multiple hits and it'll still be good. The hooks are phenomenal and the weed guard right here is our special feature on that. Yeah. Sure. Like, it's always annoying when you got the, the slimy I mean, in the river for that fish, especially the yes. slimy, the, the scummy, like the algae the scummy weed. And then, then you'd have to pull it off every single time. You can probably go three or four casts on that and it keeps yeah. it nice and streamlined. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you see, you guys just said you're in Lake County, Indiana. Lake County, Indiana. Everything that we have here at the Unky Jigs, we have an online store as well. We're pro staff. Me and right here. Eric actually owns the company with his wife, yeah. so he actually hand does all of this. Um, we do, like I said, we have all different forms of swims, football jigs. We do tons of different things here at Unky Jigs, and we just like to have sport local stuff. Swim jigs are nice too. Get dumped on. Man. I got those in quarter and three eighths. Yeah, I like these brush guards. They're pretty. They're, they're flexible. Right. And yeah. I leave them long because some people like them long. Yeah, you know, And there's nipple. people that like them short. Mm -hmm. I always just tell them just cut them to where you want. You know, I leave them long just like the skirts. They're all left long. Some people like them tighter. Yeah. You know, just cut it. Just customize it. Yeah. Do your a thing. Bit. Do yeah, your do thing. Your thing. For sure. Because right. it's easier to well, leave it long. I'm gonna take those two uh the left side. Alright. Alright. So take all your Alright, I appreciate I appreciate it. <clears throat> What's going on guys? It's Jim Lil Freak O'Neill here at the Tinley Park Fishing Convention. Um, we're talking real quick about rods, okay? Um, here we have the Nova Series Odin Rod, okay? This is a brand new manufactured rod by a custom rod builder. Um, this rod's awesome. It's a 7.9 extra heavy with a fast tip. The thing that's nice about this is not only can it throw those heavier baits from three quarter of an ounce up to about two and a half ounces comfortably, um, but it also it's also lightweight, right? Usually when you get those stronger, those heavier rods, you you jeopardize some of your weight and your flexibility of the rod. This has a really nice tip. We can look at the tip here. You can see how quick that tip is. Um, and it has a nice load to it. So when you're throwing a mag draft, when you're throwing a doobie, um, it allows that extra half a second for those fish to open their mouth and completely engulf it. Um, and it'll help you lose less fish and hook up better with a large bait like that. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to check them out, Odin, odinoutdoors.com, Odin Outdoors on Instagram, or hit your boy little Freak up and we'll get you guys one. I, heard you, I overheard you guys talking about uh, net heads. Uh -huh. well, what were you guys, um, what was the consensus? Well, was the comparisons and whatnot. He, he was just, he was just talking about um, what, what brand he likes. Yeah. And so I, I fished a lot of the Detroit River, St. Clair and stuff, it's got a lot of current. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find a heavier net head because when that water current's going, Yeah. Um, you need something to get down, so we came up with that that half ounce. Yeah, for sure. And then then we do it in a quarter, and then three eighths. Yeah. So as the season goes on, yeah, you know, it'll come August, yeah. that grass is getting taller. Yeah, the water current slowing the, the, down. Yeah, for sure. Then you don't want that half because it's going to just rip grass. You want that quarter that's still going to jump through. Yeah, that, you got the wire. Down. You got the wire guard on there yeah. as well too. Yeah. And we do we do it with or without the water weed guard. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we sell them, you know, a lot of people like to buy them already pre-rigged, you know, so that's basically this here. But you, so you, but like you, this here? Or yeah. That thing. You know, you know what plastic that is? Yeah, that's the, the zoom, right? The brush hog? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That we yeah. just modify that. I call that my little Martian man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't it look like it? It does, uh, bro. It'll get bit, too. Yeah, it will. It'll get bit. I really didn't want to get in that net because there's so many out there, right? Yeah. So... Kind of I like, just created kind of more this like bed a, because it, to me it's sort of unique. 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, its own thing. I'm a tournament angler, mm -hmm. so this is what we designed. Yeah. If you want that real light net, now we're looking at offering a smaller net head. Yeah. But there's so many out there that we'll probably end up having. Yeah, them. and like the yeah the market for the, like I guess I hear you're saying because this this that, that was designed for with a sole purpose in mind a sole type of fishing you know what I mean you're, when you made the jig you made it with how you were gonna cast it and work it back in mind. Yeah. Yeah, it's still real cool though. I just wanted to, because I'm going to put this on my YouTube channel if you don't mind. So I, just, I wanted to still, um, so I'm just going around recording booths and just like anybody that's local or stuff like that so they can promote their stuff. And then anybody who watches my channel or watches the video might be like, oh, that's something that I need where I fit. Hey, uh, Mario Mills here with Dem Jigs. We're at the Tinley Park Show uh, 2023. Really excited about uh, releasing our new line to tackle warehouse for 2023. It's our new uh, swim jig. Comes equipped with the Gamagatsu hook, three different sizes, quarter ounce, three eighths, and half ounce. Um, what's really nice about our jigs, it's all custom. We look uh, more towards like the JDM side of the business. Um, as many of the guys uh, in the local area know that uh, Dem, Jig, uh, Dem Jigs has been a staple in our community. Um, we're increasing our product lines, we're going after new uh, audiences, and uh, we've got a, a, a bunch of varieties out here. Mm -hmm. um, go check us out at Tackle Warehouse uh, or demjigs.com, and uh, great fishing to you. Yeah, get your hands on some. I appreciate you, man. Thanks. Yeah. So, I'm not these, are the jigs. Mario. So these are the jigs he's talking about. I'm sure a lot of you local guys are from, I'm, I'm local, so I fish a lot of Chicago suburbs, cool, and Wisconsin stuff. So I know a lot of you guys are, you know, familiar with them jigs but I just want to show you what he was talking about some of the newer stuff new swim jig that kind of got a katsu hook on them you know, got bluegill black and blue all kind of classic colors all right folks that's going to do it for me in this video i really hope you enjoyed i really enjoyed filming that video like i said in the intro that was something really different for me you know i i've been to plenty of fishing conventions in the past when i was younger and then obviously as most of you guys will know due to covid the last three years we had no fishing conventions at least in my state where i live you know there was you know restrictions were pretty strict so no one was having fishing shows around here and we have a lot of really big ones because you know i live in the chicagoland area you know Chicago big city we have a lot of the bigger conventions that come around here and we just weren't getting them the last few years so really grateful that I was able to go to the Tinley fishing convention that was actually like it's in Tinley but that's basically Chicago for anybody who's not local to the area that's basically like the southern half of the Chicago suburb area so just wanted to give a shout out to all the booths and all the companies that I talked to at the show. Really appreciate all you guys for letting me get footage of you guys, letting me, you know, show off some of your product and just, you know, being cool on camera because, you know, it's not everyone's like that. So again, really appreciate everyone who let me feature them in this video because without you guys, there'd be no video. Just want to make sure that everyone understands if you are interested in any of these products, I am going to do my due diligence and I'm going to make sure that all the links to all the products that I showed you guys are in the description today because I want to make sure you don't, you know, watch this video say, oh, that's really cool. I want to go buy an Odin rod or, oh, that's really awesome. I want to go buy a tightrope jig and then you had, don't know where to start to get one. So all the links are going to be in the description for everything that I showed you guys. So go check them out. Like I said, that's gonna do for me in this video, guys. Super excited that spring is here, where you know the fishing conventions, we got open water fishing, everything is coming together, and I just love the videos we've been pumping out lately. More of that stuff to come. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next one.